This is Can I Laugh on Your Shoulder. Hey, welcome to Can I Laugh on Your Shoulder. I'm Molly Stillman, and this is a podcast where each week we have raw, funny, often brutally honest conversations about the things that matter most faith, business, life, and everything in between, where we each learn how to be good stewards of the things we've been entrusted with, even our stories, and how we can use those things to serve others and leave our families, our friendships, and our communities a little better than we found them. I want to create a space where people are unafraid to be themselves and unafraid to ask the questions the rest of us are thinking. My goal is to make you laugh, cry, and laugh till you cry. Welcome to episode 360 of the Can I Laugh on Your Shoulder podcast. If you're listening to this episode the day that it releases on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023, well, guess what? Today's a big day because it is my 38th birthday. And when I was looking at the calendar, planning out podcasts for August and September, and I saw that a Wednesday, you know, podcast release day was on my birthday, I knew I wanted to do a birthday podcast episode, but I really got to thinking about it and how birthdays, especially in adulthood, have this very unique I don't know, tension around them. I've had a lot of people in my life in the past year turn 40. And uh, my husband actually is turning 40 soon. Don't tell anyone. He doesn't want anybody to know. I'm just kidding. Um, But my, you know, two of my best friends turned 40 this year. And there's been this just kind of conversation in my friend groups about birthdays. And you know, especially when you reach those milestone birthdays, like 30 or 40 or 50, there tends to be almost an attitude or a a sense of dread. Oh, I can't believe I'm turning 40 or, oh, I can't believe I'm turning 50. And honestly, my thinking has really shifted in the last couple of years. I will be honest and say when I turned 30, I was not jazzed about turning 30. But now that I'm in my late 30s, my dad always likes to say I'm well into my 30s, although he did say that when I was like 30 and three days old. As I've gotten later into my 30s, I have to say my 30s have been fantastic. (laughs) I have loved my 30s and 40 doesn't scare me. But there's a couple of things I think that have really contributed to that. The first being I have a unique and different appreciation for life now in my later 30s than I did when I turned 30. And I don't want to sound morbid or... (laughs) be a Debbie Downer. But the reality is, is that every single day is a gift. And I know far too many incredible people who did not live to celebrate their 38th birthday or did not live to celebrate their 40th birthday. My mom died when she was 55. She released her first book at the age of 36. And Every single day was a gift and there are there've been a lot of things in my personal life in the last year, 2 years that have driven home this point that every single day is a gift. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We are all living on borrowed time and so a birthday is something to celebrate. And so for my birthday episode, I wanted to share five prayers that I am praying for myself in the next year, for my kids in the next year, for my husband in the next year, for my friends in the next year. And I'm sharing these five prayers because I think that they could be something that maybe would inspire you to pray for yourself and and your loved ones and your, your friends and your family, your church, your community as you go into your next year, no matter when your birthday is. And you don't necessarily have to have a birthday to start praying these prayers, but it's something that I wanted to share with you. So the very first prayer is a prayer of gratitude. 
And this prayer is the first prayer that I pray every single day anyway. But it is just going before my Heavenly Father and just expressing deep gratitude for the gift of life, for the life that I get to live, for the farm we live on, for the family we have, for the friends we have, for the breath in my lungs, for the years I've lived, the experiences I've had. And I just ask that in that spirit of gratitude that God would give me wisdom and more love and guidance and help just guide my steps each and every day as I go through another year of life. Another way to do this is to just each day list out some of the things that you're grateful for. And I love to pick some of the little things like a comfortable bed or a new favorite pair of shoes or the sound of birds during the summer or whatever it is, just the find the little things that you can be grateful for and pray a prayer of gratitude over those things. The second prayer that I'm praying this year is a prayer of praise. I'm just praising God for who he is, for what he's done, for what he's currently doing, and what he is going to do. I praise him for the growth in myself, in my mind, my body, my spirit. I pray a prayer of praise for strength in challenges and finding joy in the little things and the love that surrounds me. I pray a prayer of praise for the things that God is doing in the details and how he sees us in the little things. Just this prayer of praise is different from gratitude because it's really just praising God for who he is, what he is doing, what he's done, and what he's going to do in the future. The third prayer that I am praying is a prayer of reflection. And it is this prayer of really looking back on my life and how all of the bumps and the bruises and the hills and the valleys and the weird winding road that I have taken to get to where I am has made me who I am and and where I am today. And so I just pray, God, would I be a person who is reflecting on the past year, on my past life, and how I'm able to let go of any regrets or fears that have continued to plague me or hold me back. Um, I pray that God would give me the spirit of reflection so that I can move forward beyond things that have historically really held me down or have weighed me down. And this is something that I've really been working through in the last few years because, and this is a longer story for another day, One thing that I really struggled with in the last few years was forgiveness of myself. Like I said, I could probably do a whole nother podcast episode on this specific topic, but how for many, many years, I could not forgive myself for things I had done in my past. And so it is a continual thing that I am working through to reflect on that and to figure out why is it that I can't forgive myself? Why couldn't I forgive myself? How do I let that go? How do I use the regrets that I have or the mistakes that I've made to grow and to move forward? The next prayer, the fourth prayer is a prayer for wisdom. Tara Lee Cobble of the Bible Recap um, talks about this a lot, about how wisdom is the prayer that we pray that God always says yes to. You know, in James chapter one, it says in verse five, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. So wisdom is a thing that God answers yes to every single time we pray for wisdom. And so on my birthday and really every single day, I ask God to give me wisdom, to give me guidance on decisions I make, on steps that I take, on 
what is the next right thing that I'm supposed to be doing in faith? I ask him to help me make wise decisions and support the people around me who are making decisions. And I pray for wisdom for them. Wisdom is one of those things that the older we get, I love hanging out with what I call more seasoned individuals, people who have experienced a lot of life and just who have so much wisdom to impart on us. And so I pray that this year would bring clarity and new opportunities and a deeper connection with God and that he would grant me wisdom through those things. And last but not least, the final prayer that I'm praying for this year is a prayer for joy and celebration. I love to laugh. I love being joyful. I love being happy. (laughs) Obviously, that is not my life 24-7, but I pray that I would have a joy that just exudes from within, that when people are around me, they feel more joyful, that I would take the time to celebrate little wins. I've learned this from uh, my friend, Mary Morantz. She talks all the time about little celebrations that she does. I remember she said that she and her husband keep those kind of mini bottles of champagne in their fridge so that if there's just a mini thing to celebrate, they'll pop open a little mini bottle of champagne. I'm not saying that that's something you have to do, but I just, I love that spirit of being ready to celebrate even the littlest things, finding joy in the littlest things, cherishing those sweet moments with my kids or just taking the extra time to play a game of Yahtzee with my kids or go outside and get messy or have fun or, you know, have an impromptu lunch with a friend. All of these things are so important for living a life that God has created us to live. So these five prayers, like I said, they're just kind of a baseline. There's obviously a lot more things that I am praying for this year, but I think these are good prayers that we can pray every single day. A prayer of gratitude, a prayer of praise, a prayer of reflection, a prayer of wisdom, and a prayer of joy and celebration. I want you to know that if you're listening right now, I am also praying these things over you right now. And so I'm going to do something I've never really done before, and we're going to close out this podcast episode in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for today. God, I am so grateful for the opportunity to sit here and talk into a microphone and to know that there are there's somebody else, a man or a woman on the on the other end of this podcast who is listening right now. And Lord, I just pray a prayer of gratitude over them. I pray that they would take a moment today to know how loved and valued they are, how worthy they are. I pray that they would take a moment to just jot down some of the little things, the big things in their life that they are grateful for, and to know that every single one of those things is a gift from you. May they know that I'm grateful for them, that I'm grateful for you, and that even in the darkest of times, that if they can find something to be grateful for, how much that can change their heart posture. Lord, I praise you for who you are, for what you are doing, for what you have done and what you will do. Lord, when we look back on our lives, we can see your handiwork in so many areas and how so often there was a road that maybe you had us go down where it didn't make sense at the time, but God, just that we would see that as your intentionality, that even in the hard times that that we were being strengthened, we were being challenged, we were given the gift of perseverance. Lord, we just praise you for your creation. We praise you for the gifts that you give us and the you know the creation of things like laughter and tears and hugs and family and friends. God, you're so good and we just praise you for that. Lord, I pray a prayer of reflection. Would we be a people who would not allow that the past to hold us down or hold us back, but that we could look on the things that have happened and we could reflect on how those things have helped us to grow. And if there are areas of regret or a sense of pain, that those areas would be just released, that we would release that regret, we would release that pain, we would release any unforgiveness or grudges or anything like that, and that we could just feel renewed in who we are as your kids. 
And God, we pray for wisdom. God, we know that you answer this prayer with a yes. And I pray for the person listening right now. I pray that you would grant them wisdom and the decisions that they make and the relationships that they pour into and the words that they speak. May the words that they speak be glorifying of you. May it be, may they be words that build up and not tear down. Lord, I pray for wisdom in all areas of my life and in my family and in my church and in my career and so many things. And I pray those same prayers over each person listening. May they grow each and every day in their wisdom and knowledge of you and who you are and what it is that your purpose is for them. And lastly, God, we just pray a prayer of joy and celebration in each of our lives. You didn't create us to live boring, sad sack lives. You created us with joy and with peace. And there's beautiful things in life. You gave us the gift of laughter. May we be able to tell jokes and to laugh and to just get to the point where we are laughing till we cry and our stomach hurts and we just can't do it anymore. But reality is, is we are just loving every moment. May we celebrate the little wins. May we celebrate the little things in life. May this day be a reminder of the blessings in each and every one of our lives. May the person listening right now cherish those little moments that bring happiness. May they be willing to pause and to stop and to look at their kids who are picking up a worm on the ground or running through a field, kicking a soccer ball, or just wanting to play a board game or watch a funny movie. Lord, may we be all about joy and celebration in these years. We ask all these things in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. As a birthday gift to me, I have an ask. Would you go on whatever podcast platform you are listening to this on? And would you click that subscribe or follow button? And would you take a moment to leave a review? Leaving a review is really the free birthday gift that I would be so grateful for. Because what it does is it helps me to know what you're liking and how the show is impacting you. And it also helps others to find the show. Thank you as always for listening. Thank you to the team at Third Wheel Media for producing the show. And for you this week, I hope something makes you laugh till you cry. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.